is Monday today, day off. My sister has a day off. I just got ready. I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses inside, but I was just about to walk outside. But I just got ready and got one outfit. My sister and I are gonna do like lifestyle photo shoots today. I'm wearing one outfit and then the rest of the clothes, I'm gonna wear her clothes. But I did bring two pairs of leggings that I was thinking I wanna wear. Um, and nothing else, everything else, I'll just borrow her clothes and wear her clothes. But here is going to be my first outfit. So I'm wearing like this houndstooth crop top, um, this little sweater thing and these pants, so they look super cute. And as you guys just saw, my makeup is all done and everything. We'll probably change out our lipstick um, throughout like the lifestyle photo shoot or whatever. Change it out with like maybe each thing of clothes. And at one point I wanna also crimp my hair, so I'm bringing my crimper. But don't you guys love these new sunglasses? I think they look amazing. I love them so much and like the pattern, like the detail on them. They're just like crazy cool and I love them. So I'm gonna wear these um, while driving over to my sister's house and I will see you guys over there in a little bit. I'm excited guys, I'm gonna have some awesome photos today. There's still like snow on the ground, but it's like warm. Like I am fine not even zipping anything up right now. It's so nice and warm. My car's already running, I just forgot you guys, the camera, at home and I had to run back inside. I was like, uh oh, can't forget the camera. I'm at Polina's house. Hi, Polinka. Hello. You wanna show them what you got? She bought a whole bunch of stuff from a thrift store. She has a thrift store. She paid, what, $23 for six things? Yeah. So that's one skirt. Let's see your other things real quick. I got a sweater. I love um, the shorts that she got. I was got. showing you a sweater. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't know you had it. Cute. All right, go dig in your bag for some more stuff. It's got a simple black dress. My mm -hmm. little... You know, it's a little cute. I'll save the best this for last. This is cute too. It's like a blush ruffle. I like shirt. the top specifically. This part of the ruffle. Yeah, it's really cute. It's from Express originally. It's very cute. Tell me how much was that? Cost me a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. This cost me two buckaroos, also Express. Mm-hmm. And then your favorite. The best for last. Dollar fifty as well. What? A dollar fifty for these shorts, guys. I want them so bad, but they didn't have another one Polina said, so. Man, those shorts are so cute. They're like the dolphin kind of shorts, and I love them. Whoa, it's so echoey in that staircase. But echoey. For a house where only two people live under this roof, they sure have a lot of bananas. You'd think they'd, be ha they'd have like some baby monkeys in here with all the bananas they got. Polina, I don't think you have enough bananas upstairs. <laughs> it's like you have a family of monkeys or something. It's only me and John. Yeah, that's what's crazy. <laughs> Guys, you remember how the other day I was having avocado toast and I was like, why do some people call it avo toast? I found the person that calls it avo toast. Avo. Avo. <laughs> She's been calling it avo toast. She's like, oh, I don't know if I have any avo ready. Do you want some avo toast? And I'm like, I was just talking about this the other day that it's not that hard to say avocado toast. It's really not that hard. <laughs> we just put on some fall sears. Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Felina's getting dressed. And we're gonna do some lifestyle photos inside the house and like the sunroom area a little bit. Um, maybe make some avocado toast and get some lifestyle photos in here before it gets too dark and then we'll go outside later. It's already noon. I wanna go to like maybe like a park or like the harbor or I don't know, somewhere and we're gonna take some photos. I got four, three other outfits ready downstairs. So I'm gonna have four outfits. My sister has five, but I don't even know if we'll get all through, through all of those. Um, but I'm excited to have some super cute photos. All right, it doesn't look like Polina has any um, ready avocado. You know what, this one might actually be okay. It's a little hard, but um, then Polina told me to look by the sunroom. Where by the sunroom? Do you guys see any avocado here? Cause, oh, in here, what? Cute. Damn, she got a lot of avocado. Um, maybe, maybe this one. They're still a little hard, but I don't know, maybe. All right, guys, I put in two avocado in here with some tomato and a banana, and hopefully it'll be right by the time we get back in a little bit.
Okay guys, back home now. We only did one outfit at the park, um, but I think we got some pretty good photos. It was pretty cold. <laughs> it wasn't that cold when I left the house today, but it seems like it got colder. Either that or it's just colder out here than it was where I was. It's one or the other. We're gonna check on our avocado. It's only been like, what, an hour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how this avocado is, but yeah, it's been like an hour. So 139, let's test out my avocado. Hopefully I'll be ready. Is this off there, Polina? Oh, actually a little bit. Think not so? much. <laughs> a little bit, but not much, so maybe it didn't even do anything yet. Okay, I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> I'm coming. How do I do it? From up to up. I'm going up. Going up! You may need to go up on the island. You should get this in the picture. Okay. Up here. Don't hit yourself. Mm -hmm. So right now, just my teeth. It's not. That's it has to be closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put it here. Too close? I can't even see your head. <laughs> I can go from here. But you're not supposed to see my head. You're supposed to see the tea. <laughs> okay. Just the tea? Yes! <laughs> what about the teapot? No! Oh. I just want this! Oh. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Ready? Closer? <laughs> yeah. This is weird. try a mango passion fruit tea guys and it just does not taste very good <laughs> let me tell you guys it's been um well we started making our food at 139 it's Super now 220 really? and we still haven't eaten yet we're still taking photos shall i see what's happening here yeah, oh gosh but us. look this looks we are set up right now almost there to eat it but not yet <laughs> We have literally been taking photos for way too long. We even set up the tripod here so we could take photos together while we were eating. We Gosh, guys, so hot. Oh, don't forget. Oh, we got the remote. We had this remote on the floor and my toes were like trying to press the button. It was actually really hard. You think it's not that hard, but it was actually... Not easy being It's us. not. No I'm kidding. <laughs> it, well, we it wasn't it easy. Fun. It's not like anything else. Yeah, just for photos for Instagram, hoping we don't have to take photos for like another two months, but that's probably not the case. Uh, we're like, we're after like a couple of outfit changes, we're like, we're done. This is just too much. <laughs> I don't know how people do this. We were thinking of like doing one whole day of like photos and like a whole bunch of outfits. Remember that plan, Polina? Yeah, like five outfits. I don't think that'll ever work considering we're only on like two and a half outfits. <laughs> Three, maybe. <laughs> I changed my tea to lemon ginger tea. So much better than the mango passion fruit. So much better. Later. Me and my sister just cleaned out my closet. And Cuba. And Cuba. Cuba did too. Okay, so we cleaned out my closet, got rid of two more bags of clothes. My closet looks so much cleaner, guys. More organized. Look at that. Everything is nice and folded now. So much better. Um, I didn't really do that one because I feel like I just cleaned that one out. That has like all my teacher clothes and stuff. I did a little bit of stuff from there, but not much. Um, 
but yeah, I did all my drawers and everything else too, so clean some more stuff out, but I still feel like I have no space for anything else anyway. Okay, so my sister is leaving right now. Oh, actually, you guys should say bye. Or she should say bye. Polina! <gasps> she just left. Gone. All right, sorry guys. Well, my sister just left. Uh, we had some soup, we cleaned out my closet, it was good. Uh, actually, we went really fast. So we got here maybe around six-ish because we went to Michael's first and she got some gold glitter card stock. They only had three though and I needed a whole bunch more and they're no longer, no longer selling it online. So I'll probably have to go to another Michael's maybe tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're cleaning out my closet. It's already, now it's almost eight o'clock. It actually did not take us long at all. Um, I actually went through everything really fast. I didn't try anything on because I feel like I just did that recently. So I don't need to try anything on. I didn't like gain weight or lose weight or whatever. So everything should still fit. I just got rid of some stuff that I know I haven't worn in a while or I won't be wearing and just those kinds of things. And then my sister took a one whole garbage bag home with her. So technically I got rid of three garbage bags. Two that I have in my room right now on the floor that my mom's going to go through, see what she wants to send to family in Poland. And then, I don't know, the rest will either donate or something, give to a church somewhere or either do another garage sale or something. But I think we donated all of our last clothes recently. So I think it doesn't make sense to hold on to it for a garage sale because we're going to need a lot more for a garage sale. So I think we'll probably just donate these as well. And then my sister has a whole bag that she took home with her also. So got rid of some clothes. Okay, guys, I took a super long, nice bath with a glass of wine, of course. Um, I am now on my computer. I wanted to open up um, a file my sister sent over to me through Dropbox. Didn't realize this, but she basically sent me all the photos we took today. And she sent them to me through Dropbox. She pays a $10 a month for it, so she has a storage. But then, like, when it comes to my Dropbox, I can't look at it until I pay for it. Because I don't have enough storage. Which is so stupid, because if somebody's sending it to you and they're paying for the storage, I should just be able to download the folder. But I can't even look at it. I can't download it. I have to add it to my folders on my Dropbox and then I'd be able to look at it but I don't have enough storage to add it to my folders so I can't look at it which is so stupid like if one person pays for it it should all be fine like I don't I don't understand I know they're trying to make money and stuff but like even back when I was in college it was like that that if one person's paying for it the person that's sharing the file with the other person the other person that's opening the file doesn't have to pay it's only the person that's sharing the file so they could upload it um to their dropbox in the first place because that's how it was when i was in college we used dropbox a whole lot for videos and everything of a student teaching and stuff or graduate school rather so it's just so different now and so stupid so i can't even like look at any of the photos so maybe tomorrow i'll stop by my sister's house again tomorrow night with my hard drive <laughs> and maybe she could just like put all of the photos onto my hard drive so i could just like look through them um when i get home afterwards but that way i'll have them on my hard drive anyway guys that's gonna be it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video i thought it was so much fun um i hope you guys enjoyed watching i gotta edit this vlog and yesterday's vlog and schedule them to upload for the next two days and yeah i'm happy to be back into this vlogging thing and i absolutely love all the support that you guys have been giving me with like everything that's been happening and for those of you that ju also just like got out of relationships and um and have broken up with their exes and stuff i'm so sorry that you guys are also going through that but at the same time i'm trying to be positive even though it doesn't always seem like it in videos but at the same time i will tell you guys that everything happens for a reason even if we don't know what the reason may be at this very moment in time one day we'll look back at it and be like oh that's why that happened so we're not gonna know the reason now but one day we'll be thankful that it happened right so um yeah let's just stay strong together and positive and hopeful and we got this we'll get through this guys no problem right mr kuba you say we're gonna get through it too right yeah look at that cute little face he says we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it all right guys so i will see you tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog bye